Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone the hard drive on your computer. So let's say you have a hard drive and you're running out of room and you need a bigger drive, so you want to clone it onto a larger drive and then make it your main uh, drive. Or let's say you want to clone it and put it in another computer, assuming you're, you know, the hardware is similar, you might run into some problems uh, with that different hardware, but that's another story. So we're going to use a tool called Clonezilla to do so. And how that works is you uh, download it, then you make a bootable uh, flash drive with it, and then you could uh, run the process from there. Okay, so to do that, I downloaded the Clonezilla ISO file, and I'll put a link in the description. I also downloaded Rufus, this is what we're going to use to make the um, bootable flash drive. And then also, you can see we have the local disk, it's a 70 gigabyte drive. And if I go into disk management, I have a 100 gigabyte brand new drive in there, unallocated, no volume, nothing. So it's just basic empty drive ready to go. So that's what we're going to clone the 70 drive, 70 gig drive onto the 100 gig drive. So that's our goal here. Okay, so we're going to run Rufus here. So make sure you have a flash drive in your computer for this. Okay, so we're going to select our ISO file that we downloaded here. And we're going to use this 32 gig flash drive. Uh, we could leave all the defaults here. And once it's good, click on start. And you want to pick the ISO image mode. And it's saying everything on that flash drive is going to be erased, so make sure you don't have anything you need to keep. Click OK. OK, so when it says ready, it means it's done. So don't click on start again because then it'll do it all over again. So now what you want to do is to uh, change your boot options if needed. So you could boot your computer from a USB flash drive. So that's going to vary based on your computer. So that's going to be up to you to find out. So we're going to reboot and then uh, boot from the uh, Clonezilla ISO file here and start the next process. Okay, so now we're in here. You'll, you should have a mouse once you get past this part here. So you want the Clonezilla Live, the first option. So hit enter. All right, so pick your language. So I kind of have a mouse here. It's just not working that good, so I might have to use the keyboard. So English. Keep the default current layout. All right, then you want to start Clonezilla. Okay, so now we want device to device, so we don't want device to image, so we want to go disk to disk. So pick that one. Okay, so now beginner mode should be fine for most people here. Okay, so look, disk to local disk. Okay, so now we want the local disk for the source. So that's the 70, I don't know why it reads it as 75, it adds an extra five gigs, but it was 70 gigs. So you can see there's our 100 gig right there. So this is crucial. Make sure you pick the right disk because otherwise you're gonna wipe out your uh, existing disk. So here's the source disk that has Windows on it already. And so then it picks the other one for the destination disk and it says all data will be lost. So make sure you don't have anything on your new disk that you care about. Then you could just skip checking, repairing. And then on this one, uh, you could just pick the top one to give you an option what you want to do when it's finished. Otherwise, it'll do one of these other ones automatically. So we'll pick the first option here. Okay, then just make sure you say yes to all these prompts here. And then enter as well. I'm recording at a lower resolution, so you can't really see the prompts, so it'll look better when you're doing it on your computer. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the part that's going to take some time here. It's going to go through the copy process here. All right, so we'll pause the video for this and then come back when it's done. Okay, so it uh, finished that process. Now it's just running through a couple more things here. And I might need to scroll down to see what it says here. Press Enter to continue. So everything is done. Remember to use Power Off or Reboot. So Enter. Okay, so now, now I got the mouse here. So Enter Command Line, Power Off. We're going to pick Power Off because we have to... Uh, Take out the uh, old hard drive and just have the new one in there. Okay, so it says to take out the uh, flash drive there. Press enter. Okay. All right. So now this is a uh, virtual machine here. So now we see that we have the original disk here, the 70, and I'm going to remove this. So now we just have the 100 gig hard drive, so this is, you know, pretending that you actually physically took out your old hard drive and left the new one in there or took the uh, cloned one, new one, and put it in a different computer. So we're going to start it up and see if we get Windows. All right, so far so good. Okay, so the screen looks the same here. We got the same icons here. So let's go ahead and open up File Explorer. This PC. Okay, so you'll see here that it only, it took the 70 gigabytes, so it didn't use the whole drive. So what we need to do now, so let's go to Disk Management first. Okay, so here's our extra 30 gigs. So if we wanted to use the whole 100 gigs, we'd have to extend this drive. But the problem here is that this uh, recovery partition is in the way. Let's see if the Windows 11 tool will do it for us here. So if you go to System, Storage, Advanced Storage, Disks and Volumes, Look at the properties here. So if we go to change size, okay, so it's not only letting us there too. So that's one potential problem you're going to run into. So in order to fix that, we need to install a little program called Naive Partition Editor. So I will pause the video while I download and install that. Okay, decided just to leave the video running so you could see the installation process for this. Okay, so we're going to run this. And you always want to have your file explorer closed and anything else closed. Just close everything here. Okay, so you can see we have our original C drive size, the 70 gigs. Here's the unallocated space that it needs to use to make the uh, 100 gigabyte total. So this guy is in the way. So what we need to do is right click on this and then resize move volume, drag this to the right and you can see it puts it at the end. So now before you uh, assume it's done you have to click on apply and I suggest doing one step apply then next step apply rather than trying to do a bunch of stuff and then have it apply it all at once. Okay so now we have these guys side by side we could right click resize 
stretch it out to take all the space there. Apply again. Okay. And now that's okay. So now we go back into File Explorer. This PC. Now we have our 100 gigabytes and you know, less use since we extended the drive there. So one little extra step you might have to take if you get that little extra partition in the way, if you're going to a bigger drive, that is. Okay, so to summarize, so we used the CloneZilla, downloaded that ISO file, and then we had to use the Rufus uh, USB, uh, bootable USB creator tool to make that. Then we had to boot to the USB tool, so we have to set your boot options for your computer. Then run the CloneZilla to copy the drive, then just take out the uh, old drive or take out the new drive, put it in a different computer, whatever you're going to do, boot that up. And if it works, then you could use the Niubi to uh, extend your drive and you know move that other extra partition out of the way. So it's a lot of steps, so you might have to watch this more than once to get it down. So I'll put links in the description for everything, and then you could try it for yourself. But like I said, just be careful when you're doing the clone that you pick the proper source and then back up all your documents and important stuff like that first because something goes wrong, then you're going to have a whole another mess of trouble. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.